Dodgy loot work, I apologise. Apologise in advance. Hello, hello, hello! Mm. <laughs> Welcome to All About The Bass. Uh, I am Lee, and Oz is over there. Yeah. Hey! Um, thanks for joining us. Uh, if you, before I mention anything, if you would like to subscribe, if you haven't already, I don't know why you wouldn't, but please do. You've got a chance to win a centaur. Uh, worth even more than this bass we're about to talk about, ama amazingly. But, um, and we've got two, so get involved, get involved. So we're here today to talk about the new Sire range. So um, this in particular, we're gonna have a little bit of a deep dive on the V10DX and the P10DX. So newly introduced, literally just imminently, we just got them out, out of the box. Um, and they've just improved on their V10 model that was at the very, very top of their range with a few extra nice new upgrades. So um, as you can see, this is the full, full works, like the flagship model, like right at the top of the, mod, uh, the range. This is where you find every base has got not only an order, solid order ash body, you've got a full maple cap on it as well. So unlike the other uh, bases in the Sire range, which you'll find a more standard straight P base, jazz base, solid one piece of body wood. This, you've got the combined, which uh, should give you extra bass reson reson resonance, hey, resonance, but also the higher frequency punch with the maple as well, and that sustained that you normally get out of them. So, um, talking about sustain as well, you won't get any of that without some decent hardware. So, big, big, chunky new bridge that they've added to this as well. So, looks like, um, so you can actually adjust this any way you need. So, I've seen this on a few other brands like Warwick, they've, they've really got an interest in sort of, you can move it any way you need to get your setup perfect. So vertical movements, side to side, back to back to front, whatever you need, you'll get it perfect with these sort of things. So this is hip shot, uh, bridge and tuners, which these are beautiful as well. These are slightly different to the other range as well. These are more the old style Fender tulip pegs, which are that's the longer stalk. This is, I'm getting really geeky straight away, apologies. But um, <laughs> so you'll notice on the other, other bases there, slightly different style. But um, these are uh, American made hip shot tuners, really, really decent stuff. Um, they've also upgraded um, the actual, all the dials here. So the workings underneath. So instead of having your standard sort of uh, washer and as you would sort of push, push the pots as it were, through the back of, of the base, through the top, um, it's not just a standard fitting, but they, with these, they've actually updated this. So the whole casing is metal, it's aluminium, and it's so much sturdier. Um, really, really smooth controls and everything. Everything's really nice and tight. So you won't no kind of knocking where you are when you've set your tone. It's all really, really nice and solid. Um, anything else to mention? Obviously, yep, yeah, the Heritage 3 preamp is like the, the selling point of, of Sire bases. Um, it's so much, so much tone scope and you got through this that, you know, you, you really can make it sound like anything, really. Um, so that's, that's been a real winner for everyone, especially people coming in the shop, they, yeah, singing about, singing their praises about these, so. The oh, good shout, good shout. So yeah, um, abalone inlays, or abalone, abalone, I don't know how you say it. And I'm not too sure if it's real or if it's just a sort of mock, but I think it probably is real, it does look real. It looks great. There was a time where the, the people got a bit funny about using these sort of things, but it's just, it's like it's an oyster shell. Like th those kind of, um, I think we say mollusks? I'm getting off topic straight away. No, what, what would you ever call it? Crustaceans? Some sort of thing in the sea. Basically, that's what I'm getting at, right? And um, there was a bit, of, <laughs> a bit of funny thing at one point, but no, this looks like proper abalone used for those inlays, which does give it a, a really nice little special look, especially with that coffee kind of baked maple neck. Which I will, I will tell you about now, right? So yeah, you might be thinking, look at that colour, the colour of the neck, how they done? They stained it, have they stained it to that colour? So they haven't, they've actually just roasted the hell out of it. So what we do with this sort of thing, I don't know actually the actual setup, I'm thinking a giant kiln or some sort of oven, but um, the idea is bringing all the moisture out of it. So once you can then actually construct the neck and set up the base, it's gonna be as solid and it's not gonna be moving around and the setup again, um, sustain, everything that comes with that is going to be better with a lot more solid neck. So it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing, it's a beautiful thing and it gets slightly better again where they didn't used to include any bags or anything with, with these models. Um, but now, this year, 
They are adding this. Let me just have a little scoot over here. Look at this, baby. Got the name on it and everything. So, Sire have just released these ABS cases which come with the deluxe models. So the V10 and the P10 come with one of these. And actually, let me just show you because there's a few more bits in here. And I say, th these things normally set you back another 150 pounds around that sort of thing. Might be even more than that now. Um, but these are all molded to the, to the model. Get a little bit of case candy as well, I think. Oh yeah, look that, look, right. So if you wanted to get your proper Marcus Miller technique on, you're going to need one of these. I jokingly call them the playing inhibitors because they're not the easiest to get around if you're not used to them. But Marcus learned with one of these on, didn't, never took it off. And these pickup covers normally go over that, that neck pickup just there. Um, his technique evolved from resting on that basically. Whoops, resting on that, that pickup cover. So his whole, whole technique came, came from that. So if you want to follow in that, you've got that just in case you want to put that on. And in here, if you can see through me, but it's a see-through scratch plate. So you can still keep all that lovely figuring of the, of the maple, maple top, but you can also protect it as well if you're a pick player, especially, you know, you're sort of going for it, you don't want to get it scratched. So well thought out by the guys at Sire as always. So um, there we go, thought I'd just mention that. Nice little case. And say, so if you're looking at a, a high quality base as well, that you, you know, you need to get all these bits separately, you might have everything you need in in one of these packages as well. So, so you've seen, oh, you've seen that one. Let me play this one for you. So this is the P, the P10. Uh, I should mention also, as you see, this one was a five string. This is a four. There are fours and fives available in each as, as well. And some slightly different finishes as well. So check the site out and all the specs will be there and the, the different color options and everything as well. So, but yes, so as you can see, this is the precision based style version of of the, the V10 or the, the P10. And all the same appointments, same upgraded controls, all the new appointments with the, the extra hardware, the new upgraded hardware. Main difference tonally is gonna to come from this pickup, this neck pickup here being split like the traditional pickup on a, on a P base. Just gives you that different, slightly different flavor. And person, personally, just a little bit of a side note, I've, I got one of these a couple of years ago. I've always been a jazz bass player, just normal single coils. It just adds something to my um, my range of guitars as well. You know, it's just slightly different, you know. And I really have become to come to love this this you know both pickup on sound using a split pickup and a jazz in the bridge. So um, yeah, I'm like I'm a bit of a new convert kind of thing. So I'm using P bass pickups on a jazz bass now at the moment. So um, but yeah, if that's your bag, just we'll give you give you a little idea of what it sounds like. It might be something to consider. If you've never thought about it, this is normally called the P Bay Special Pickup Configuration, if you see that around as well. So here's what it sounds like. <laughs> Um, just the, the P bass pickup on its on its own. So just flip it round to the front. This was the, the difference. One of those. So you know, a P bass always been think of some 70s and 80s you know, like anyway anyway sorry um we're still here um so yes this is um say i say the top end of their range and the only other main difference to, to mention is where you come from the the v5s the v3s the v8s and everything that's coming out the v7s this range actually maps the neck shape of marcus miller's marcus miller's jazz bass. So his Fender that he uses and you might have seen famously throughout the years. Um, Sire actually brought that bass into the workshop, taken it all apart, 
mapped the neck shapes, so they've made it for a four and a five string shape. The five is actually traditionally what he had. Um, so this is more like bang on. Obviously, this is gonna be a little bit smaller, but they've tried to, to match it. Basically, the neck, if I were to hold it like that, yeah? Whee! Imagine more curvy at the top and then slopey at the bottom. So curvy, slopey. So they call it elliptical neck, but it isn't uniform as it were. So, you know, some people will like that, some people won't, but I would definitely, if you can get hold of one, definitely recommend trying it yourself. It's it's not completely alien. It's nothing like this gonna throw you out <laughs> to be like, oh, what? I'm expecting a P bass or a jazz bass and this is completely different. It's not nothing like that. Just set to that particular bass that came out of the Fender factory that Marcus was made famous, you know, so. Um, so yeah, just another point to make, but yeah, this also comes with the hard case and all the, the case gubbins and little bits as well. So hopefully, yeah, this floats your boat. It's a really, 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 really lovely, lovely bass. We have some new other Sire instruments out at the same time, some new basses. So um, if this isn't, you know, in your range or your price range or anything, keep a lookout for those. There's others that uh, say sub a thousand, sub 800, sub 400 quid even as well in this range, which again, the quality, doesn't let up. It's you know the, the same high quality down to that four, three, four hundred quid. You know, so so there we are. Please hey, just check out all the full specs below. You know, give us a like if you're still here. That'd be amazing. Thank you. Any more bass videos? They'll be even somewhere up here if you want to stick around. That'd be lovely. Otherwise, look out for the next videos, and we'll see you very soon. Thanks a lot for joining us. Ta -ta. <laughs>